Hey everybody, it's ASIC Eric again, and today is wrap up day for these wheels. Um, I have not been able to paint because uh, it's been raining here all the time. Um, so this is the first stretch of good weather we've had in a while. Um, it's still cold, you know, it's only 60 degrees or something. <laughs> I know so many people are laughing at 60 degrees, but that's, that's cold around here. Um, but I should be good to go. Uh, so I need to sand these guys down. Um, in prep or scuff rather. Um, I'm gonna paint all the cut the caps here. Um, I had done those in black before but I hadn't stripped them well enough um, so there's a lot of old paint on there and what happened is you could see the ripples of where the, the paint was. I didn't feather it out good enough um, so uh, my friends stripped those down for me. Uh, those are gonna go bronze. Alright so anyway I'm not gonna film this whole thing today. Uh, it's the exact same procedure I used on the, the single wheel that I did before. So I'm just going to scuff these and shoot them and uh, show you the end product. Um, first thing I have to do though is get these guys in epoxy. All right, well, that turned out pretty good. Um, pretty happy with how all those wheels came out. Um, you saw that one little black spot on the one wheel. I don't know what that was, if it was a bug or something. It, it was really flat, so I'm not really sure what happened there. I'm not, I didn't worry about it. I just kept on going. I figured if I tried to dig that out, I was gonna do more damage than anything else, so just left it. Uh, everything came out pretty good. There's a couple spots I didn't put the clear on quite heavy enough. Um, just like on the outer edge of the rim in one place I noticed. 
Uh, there was a, a few spots of uh, bleed through that you saw. Um, I forgot when I painted these this time, I didn't wrap the wheel and tape it around paper all the way down to the ground. So I hope overspray didn't get up under them. I didn't notice any of that, um, but I did see a lot of places where it seemed like it bled through through the masking tape and the blue tape and everything. And there's just spots of uh, metallic paint inside the wheel, pearl. Um, I don't know how it got in there because it was right right below where the tape lines were. So it bled through there somehow. So I cleaned it up with acetone. I think I got most of it off. Um, so I think it's okay. Um, one weird thing that happened when I was painting this has never happened before. I used that starting line um, detail gun, the same one that I've been using. Um, and when I went to put on the uh, bronze color, the brass color, um, I started spraying a mist coat on there and it was coming out really, really light and just there was almost no paint coming out. And I started playing around with it and adjusting the nozzles and stuff and just just hardly any paint would come out. And if I close the, the fan way down, then I get a nice big blast of paint. But as soon as I opened it back up, it just was a mist. Uh, so I wasn't sure what happened there. So I'd use the gun to put the epoxy on first. I thought maybe there was some epoxy in there. So I took it all apart. And it sucked because right? I had it full of paint. So I had to drain all the paint out of it. Take the whole gun apart, clean it, put it back together. It was spraying fine. And then right away, it wasn't spraying again. And luckily, it dawned on me that it was a vapor lock. But the little vent hole in the top of the cap um, had plugged up. And sure enough, I checked it, and some epoxy or something had gotten in there and plugged it up. So I poked that out, cleaned it out, and then no problem after that. But I was, I didn't really know what to do if I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> I was kind of out of luck. Um, I was getting ready to break out my uh, finish line gun and use that instead. Um, but luckily I figured it out, so it turned out okay. Um, so anyway, wheels are done. I'm going to give them back to my friend tomorrow, hopefully, and have him go over them and check and see if there's any other spots give them a little acetone wash in a few places if there's anything left but hopefully everything's good I mean those things are out of my hair finally uh, after a couple of months of working on that I haven't been working on them all the time I've been doing other things but anyway it's good to have those done finally so thanks again everybody and we'll talk to you soon